lot for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. What's good, everybody? We are back on the Chinese version of Rules of Survival. It looks like in yet another consecutive week, we got a new weapon in the game. Like I've said before, I think these are the weapons that they had the screenshots drawn up for uh, back when they had a little competition. I'm not even sure when it was. I know I remember making a video on it talking about the weapons that could potentially be coming to the game. So we've had the riot shield and the crossbow. And apparently, next up, we've actually got an attachment for the crossbow that allows you to turn it into a grenade launcher. So essentially, I'm pretty sure I just found the attachment chat. Now all I need to do is find a crossbow. Now I'm a little bit surprised it wasn't sitting next to a crossbow. Um, and based off the description that I saw... Oh, and they put the MP5 on Gilly as well. More news right there. Wow. Uh, solid start to the video, news-wise. So we've got the attachment right, attachment right now. We got the MP5 on Gilly, which I would argue is actually one of the best SMGs in the game. In addition to that, you can also throw a four times on it. Now, that being said, it does have pretty significant damage drop-off. And the game actually seems, like, super, super laggy right now. I'm not sure if that's because I'm on the Chinese server, or if that's something that arrived with the Chinese version, or, uh, with the most recent update. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that psyched me out because it looks like a, uh, <laughs> it looks like one of the upgrade things that you use for your, uh, whatchamacallit, in Death Race. Uh, but that's really just a extended quick draw for a sniper rifle. Um, so not too much relevant there. I'm not trying to run into anybody. I'm really just trying to test this stuff out. Trying to go as far from the drop zone as possible. I will probably head on over to Bobby Depot. I will start on a bike and drive along the road until we manage to find ourselves. And I don't know if this was a standard solos game. I'm not sure how there were only 61 people left. Um, they might be reducing the number of bots in the game. I'm really not sure. But anyways, we're going to go over, grab this battle jeep. And make our way to Bobby Depot. And hopefully we'll be able to find a crossbow there. Usually there's enough loot for me to be able to get what I need over there. Since there's so dang many houses. If we got to heal up a little bit along the way. I am fine with it. But hope you're all having a great day. If you are, make sure you drop a like down below. Uh, so that little cup thing right there I have never seen before. So I'm going to go ahead and assume... That, that is the new attachment for the crossbow that allows you to turn it into a grenade launcher. I'm assuming you can also use it for smoke and flash grenades as well, uh, which could prove to be pretty useful uh, for creating distractions especially. So essentially what that could mean is if you're in a really sticky situation and you need... Sorry, I heard, thought I heard footsteps. If you need to uh, distract your enemy... You could potentially launch a smoke grenade like halfway across the map. And even though I do love the MP5, we're going to go ahead and pick up the M4 right there. Sorry if it does seem a little bit laggy. Hopefully uh, that's not something that lasts too very long. And just like that, we're going to be dropping our weapon for the M14. So right now all we're doing is looking for the crossbow. And we should be pretty much good to go. That's the only thing I've seen. It could also be adding the grenade launcher. I would not be surprised if that happened. Given that we did just get a grenade launcher skin. Uh, that would be pretty dope. So we might find ourselves a grenade launcher along the way. Another M14 right there. Uh, I'm not sure if they adjusted the spawn rates for assault rifles again. I know that was something that we saw this week. It got a lot harder to find. Especially the AN94 and the M14 in game. Already seen two M14s relatively close to each other, so that might be something that they've adjusted. We'll just have to wait and see on that. We'll go to the top of the hill right here, see if we can find the crossbow. Should be able to find one relatively soon. Alright, here we go. We've got our crossbow, so I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. And now that I think about it, I don't think I've been picking up any throwables. So you can see right there... We do have the little contraption attached to it, so right now I need to run around and actually find throwables, 
which I have been ignoring for the entirety of the game because I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll hop in here, see if we can find really any throwables we'll do. Smoke grenades, stun grenades. From what I read in the description of the item anyways, any throwable. If we go to, if we go to Bobby Depot, and, no, please, please don't, please don't, please don't. I'm so one hit, holy shnikes. Please just leave me alone. I'm just making a video. I'm just making a video. I'm just making a video. <sighs> Please calm yourself, sir. Please and thank you. Holy crap. There's another crossbow right in the building that I'm at. I swear if somebody shoots me in the back. Wow, how did he end up over there? I thought that was so far from the drop zone. That was shocking. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're calm now. All we need... Smoke grenade. Alright. Time to test it out. See if it works with the smoke grenade. Da 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 da. Here we go. Um. I don't know what I need to... Oh, wait. Here we go. Uh... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Wait. Did that just... Did that go out like a molly? Whoa! Yeah, before... I must have picked up a molly before, so basically it shoots out exactly like it. When it shoots out, it doesn't look any different. But as you can see right there, I wasn't even paying attention... It shot out a molly. I didn't even know that I had a molly with me. And we got about eight times right there. All right, I want to, like, try to run around and see if we can find some more throwables to mess around with. I'm not trying to die outside the zone. Here we go. Another molly right here. Let me pop a energy real quick. Okay, how far can we get this? This is the real question. So does it just by default? Does it by default launch whatever you've got in there? Let's see. Do we see the flames up there? Whoa! You could molly somebody from like a mile away. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm assuming it actually, it functions like an arrow. I wonder if it takes a while for the, uh, for the grenade to explode or if it explodes on impact. I'm interested to see that. Really hoping I don't run into anybody because I'm really just trying to mess around with this and get a better idea of what all the uses could be. But it looks like, oh my gosh, this is actually going to be a crazy useful attachment. Before now, the crossbow was really kind of a troll weapon, and it looks like it does use one of your bolts whenever it does it. So it basically attaches whatever throwable you have to that bolt and just launches it wherever you're trying to get it. Uh, super interesting concept, and I actually like it. This could be, wow, that could actually turn the crossbow into one of the most OP weapons in the game. Just because of all the potential that it has. Especially if you think about, like, you have somebody far away. Uh, you can just straight up launch a grenade at them from that far. Especially if you learn to master the crossbow. If you got somebody chasing you in a car and you've got a crossbow, you can, like, straight up blow up their whole team. Like, this is more effective than the actual grenade launcher itself. I'm actually pretty excited for this. Um, I'm trying to find some more throwables because I want to test it out some more, but I'm also not trying to run into anybody. Any Only 20 people left. Actually, I do kind of want to try it on somebody, but I'm so laggy on these servers that I'm afraid as soon as I actually find somebody, they're just going to straight up smack me. Uh, and it looks like this has actually already been looted, unless I went in here myself, which I don't think that I did. Alright, what's going to be a good spot that I go to that there w that I can peacefully loot? We're going to go up there. Uh, can I quickly get up there? Probably not. <laughs> you know what, we're going to try anyway. We're going to give it the old college try. Oh, I, I keep getting all my... I keep playing too many battle royales and getting my buttons mixed up. Um, you know what, screw that. I'm going this way. Alright, I just heard a silenced arm, which I don't like, but I just found a grenade, which I do like. Well, silenced arm or silenced Barrett. Neither one of those is something that I would like to interact with. 
I kept hearing shots. Yep, there it is right there. Kept hearing shots, and I had no idea where it was coming from. And I was like, why is there no sound? Why is it only one at a time? Now I know why. Uh, I have not... Not the... the honestly, the silenced bolt-action weapons in this game are ridiculously OP. Just because of how quiet they are. Like, there's literally... If you're in solos... And somebody was proning in the grass using a silenced arm or a silenced Barret. You would have no idea where in the world they are. That, like, low-key, I think that needs to be nerfed. I kind of want to test out the grenade. Uh, somebody just died across the lake, I'm pretty sure. I am really, really tempted to see what we can do with this. This is essentially a grenade launcher that goes, like, 400 meters or whatever. Um, if I could spot him, that would be great. Makes my job a lot easier. Now that I think of it, I actually do have an 8 times on my M14. And there's a vehicle back here, which means he's probably... Alright, you know what? Even better opportunity. Somebody's got an AUG. Probably up on top of the hill. Um... We're, we're just going to give this gold, good old college try. I think I see him up top. <laughs> Alright, so that didn't get nearly to where it needed to be, but that's freaking OP. So it does explode on impact, which is going to be crazy, crazy OP. Uh... Honestly, I'm not sure why they decided they wanted to put that in the game. But I cannot wait to use this in the regular version of the game. I feel like this is going to be... This is probably going to be the new meta. At least in squads and fire teams, they have at least one player on your team to have a grenade launcher. Just give them like half of all the throwables that you find in the game. And let them blast people away. Especially in vehicle fights. Like, when you think about the potential for that, you can molly vehicles now from, like, 500 meters away. Probably not 500 meters, but, like, two or 300. The potential of that, especially if somebody masters the art of aiming the crossbow, that would be insane. Alright, so at this point, we know that the attachment is the game. We know how it works. What we really need is somebody that we can actually test it out with and enough grenades for us to actually be able to use effectively. So I'm going to try to farm up grenades and crossbow arrows, or bolts, I think is what they're technically called, until I am blue in the face, and then we're going to go try to blow somebody up. One thing I am going to say, I hope next week the update doesn't cause the game to uh, turn into what I'm playing right now, because this is by far the laggiest version of ROS I have ever touched. Not talking about, like, ping time, I'm talking about, like... Oh my gosh, I'm getting like 12 frames per second or something. Like, this is crazy bad. I really hope this is just because I'm on the Chinese version from America. Alrighty, boys, we got our attachment. That is what I am talking about. Alright, let's look at what we got right now. We got, uh, we got a chicken and two smokes, though. Yeah, we gotta do something about that. We gotta get more throwables. The more I think about, like, all the potential uses for the crossbow in this attachment, the more I think this is gonna make... The crossbow, one of the most overpowered... I wouldn't even say a weapon, one of the most overpowered items in the game. Because you're not necessarily using it for a 1v1, but... In specific squad situations... Just imagine, like, being in a fight where you can only use, like, an 8 times. If you figure out the exact drop you need for specific ranges, how high you need to aim it... If you got somebody on top of a three-story, you could easily wipe an entire squad with one shot. Like, that's not something you could ever do with a regular grenade launcher, because I think it does, like, a max of 60 damage and also has a lot less range than the crossbow does. But the crossbow can go basically as high as you're willing to aim it. So you could potentially kill an entire fire team from 300 meters away if you know the right amount of distance that you need to aim up. This could be... A fat game changer, especially especially in squad and fire team gameplay. Maybe not quite as much in solos. Uh, it'll probably be effective in duos as well. But either way, oh my gosh, do you guys see these frames? I really hope that this is not an indication of what's to come for OS. But I'm excited about the uses for this attachment. It's pretty fun. 
thinking about whether, like, sometimes you're probably going to want to use your crossbow without actually using your throwables. I think basically all you're going to need to do is unequip the attachment, and it'll automatically shoot... Like, right there, it automatically shoots a regular bolt, but as soon as you throw the attachment back on it, we'll switch it to shoot smoke grenades, because I have some extra ones of those. So, if you have it set... Oh, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> I forgot to re-equip my weapon. I'm an idiot. Uh, so, we said... I wonder if you can shoot a crossbow bolt. Right there, you can see the smoke automatically appears. So, basically, it depends on whether or not you've got the attachment on there, is whether or not it's going to shoot... Uh, the throwables that you got equipped at the time. Honestly, once this comes out in the North American server, I'm probably going to try to get a crossbow only challenge going. We do have somebody relatively close. Might be able to get our first crossbow kill. Not our first crossbow kill. Our first crossbow attachment shooter kill. <laughs> I don't know how to... I don't know what the official name of it is, but... You guys get the gist of it. We're going to see if we can uh, launch some nades into this dude. We've got the high ground on him. I just need him to not know where I am. Alright, so I typically try not to do this, but I'm going to camp for a little bit because one of the biggest advantages of the crossbow is how silent it is. So if you've got an enemy that has no idea where you are, you can easily line up your shot. Oh, we've got a vehicle coming at us. I really want to try to hit a moving vehicle. If that keeps coming directly at us, oh my gosh. Mm, no, I think it's going to stop at the two-story. No, you should keep coming at me. If he goes inside, oh my gosh. If we can launch a grenade in there while he's in there, that would be one of the most epic kills of all time. Oh, I see him. I see him. I think he knows where I am. All right, chat. Moment of truth. Oh, wait. He stopped peeking. No, go back to the window. Go back to the window. I'll peek for you. I promise. I promise. Just do it for me. All right. You know what? Screw it. We're going to send it anyways. Full send for the boys. That is not nearly far enough. That needs to be... Wow. Did they increase the drop on it? You know what? We're going we're gonna to test it out with the, with the stun grenades because I'm not entirely sure what I need to do now. How high do I need to send it? Alright, I think that was side of the building. That was close to far enough. Alright, we're going to try to send this one through the middle window. How high? That went inside. That one definitely went inside. Okay. Okay, I think I've kind of kind of got the distance down. It's going to be tough to get it in there, though. Definitely tough to get it in there when he's trying to aim at me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So many throwables, or so many freaking grenade launchers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, so I'm pretty sure there's somebody, there was somebody I drove by that had a Thompson. I'm pretty sure somebody on top of that three story that has a grenade launcher. Snipes. Oh, lots of ones on me. He knows my exact location. This one. He's just going straight up. Full send. Good night. You, dude, you realize you're not hitting me, right? I think he got excited that he saw a bunch of ones. Does he have limitless ammo? Good lord! What are you doing? I'm afraid to step over to try to take a shot because he's probably going to launch six grenades into my house as soon as I do. He didn't even realize that there's still a window right here. I just want to see you. Uh, as soon as I hear his shots, I get scared. <laughs> I don't think he's still trying to shoot at me, though. All right, there's a silenced arm next to me, as well as that guy on top of the three-story. I just need one angle. One angle. Oh, is he in that? No, he's definitely on the right side of the building. Definitely on the right side. I don't think I can see him, though. I'm kind of tempted to, tr to just go freaking YOLO it and try to use this in close range because that would be kind of ridiculous. Probably kill myself, but kill the other dude in the process. Oh, he jumped. He jumped. All right. This is our moment of truth. 
Let's see if we can spot him on his way in. Full send for the boys! And nothing. Alright. It looks like we're probably going to need to be a little bit closer. Oh, and there's a vehicle coming too. Maybe I get lucky and there's a... No, no throwables in here. That is vastly disappointing. I was hoping for at least a hit marker on him. It was kind of a shot in the dark anyways. Uh, we might have to wait until this weapon... Or at least this weapon attachment is on the North American server before we get a shot to actually get a kill on it. And as you can see, everybody's in vehicles now. So that's probably going to be it for the video, guys. The odds of me winning this are slim to none. Uh, but hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the squad if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys next time.